The biometer, which can check alcohol levels from your patient's capillary blood in less than 25 seconds, is either the biggest joke or the biggest revelation in paramedicine. Let's find out, let's test it, and let's try not to get completely drunk. My name is Alex Hepner, and this is Group Call. As pre-hospital clinicians, we sadly see increasing number of patients where we are not sure if symptoms come from alcohol intoxication, uh, mental health disorder, or drugs. Oh, <laughs> Therefore, I decided to take a closer look at Albio, the device quite recently introduced by Finnish company called PAL, a biometer which in theory is supposed to support clinical decision-making in the field. And let me disclose no conflict of interest, I was not paid to review this product and manufacturer did not contact me or my team prior to this test. The device itself looks like a glucometer, or a BM kit, as my British colleagues would say, and you use it in the same way. You pierce the skin, you wipe two first drops of uh, blood away, and take sample from the third drop of blood. But instead of blood sugar levels, of course, it checks your patient's alcohol levels in less than 30 seconds. As a testing alcohol, I've chosen the cheapest beer I could find, because why not? The first test and the first disappointment. British winter, which plus three degrees, is too harsh for Albio. The minimal temperature for the device to work is 10 degrees. So please remember that before you will decide to check your patient sitting outside of the pub. To be honest, manufacturer warns about it in leaflet, but come on, a device from Finland should work in almost Arctic temperatures, shouldn't it? The second attempt was definitely more successful. According to the machine, I was as sober as a baby. Time for big guns. Please say hello to Polish vodka. After two shots and 20 minutes, the machine told me that my alcohol levels were none. After three more shots, so five in total, and still zero on the display, I found the source of my problem. My passport. I'm Polish, which means that my liver works better than other nations. And sure, I'm joking. But you also should know that according to all medical sources, lethal dose of alcohol is 5 per mil, BAC 0.5, with the world record has been set by a Polish guy with 14 per mil, BAC 1.4. Sadly, he died, but not because of the intoxication, but due to the injuries from RTC. Yes, he was driving. Anyway, I was a bit stuck, so I did what every clinician does when they don't know what to do. I've called for backup. Hi, George, I need your help, mate. George Ryanwell, amazing paramedic, former soldier, and most importantly, as British as tea with milk. He kindly agreed to take Albio out for a party and record the test for me. So I've done the first test, and it's 0.00. .00. So, first test after drinking. Uh, I've had approximately five beers. We've been playing a bit of um, uh, beer pong. So I'm now currently at a 1.61. So we've been fighting for a few hours now. This chap here has had a, well, seven plus, seven plus some cocktails, um, and we've just tested him. And four, three, two, one, one point two four. Does that mean you can drill it? So, no, I came up as 1.66 was with approximately the same amount of alcohol. Um, yeah. Thank you very much. Hi, so we've uh, we had a bit of pie, proper pie to be honest, um, and I've had probably like what? Too many. Love. Ten oh. pints. Ten pints there, Alex. We've checked more. it, and it says 0.21. That is a. Not putting too much blood out of that finger. Why is he holding the camera? Testing. <laughs> Proven to. You've got 20 seconds because it, it takes a little while for the, the test coming through. However, to be honest, we were a f***ing great night. Now, my top level is 1.93. And that's. I'm calling Billy bullshit on that. Is it always oh, 1.93. Okay. There's no way he is only, what, 2% drunk. 
Okay, so the device works and I can recommend it for a clinical use under three conditions. One, you will remember to clean your patient's fingers with a sodium chloride or water for injection, otherwise the reading may be not accurate. Two, you will never underestimate the power of alcohol. Although it's socially acceptable, it is a chemical substance that alters function of neural system. Three, you will watch my next video where I explain pathophysiology of alcohol intoxication and demonstrate how to manage an intoxicated patient. My name is Alex Hepner and this was Group Call.